You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, and welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA, the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. I want to thank you for watching these episodes and for allowing me to visit with you a little bit each week about people who are very meaningful to me. Please subscribe and share so that even more people can learn about these incredible CNAs. I've been asked recently about the t-shirts that I wear for these episodes. Simply put, I'm trying to minimize negativity in my life, trying to focus on the positive, the good stuff, the meaningful. I'm tired of turning on the news and seeing CNAs portrayed as abusers and neglectors and sometimes even worse. That's only a very tiny fraction of those of us working in long-term care. There are so many extraordinary CNAs that need to be highlighted. And so CNA Heroes was born. Often my t-shirt messages relate to the story that I'm telling. In today's case, my t-shirt says, Rise Above. And this hero that we're gonna talk about today did just that. She rose above tragedy, heartbreak, tremendous grief, horrible loss, and physical debilitation. Over the course of the last several months, we've discussed a great deal about what a hero is made of and what makes a hero. As we've seen in past episodes, often heroes are born out of tragedy. These individuals do not have a choice always about their circumstances. Rather, they gather the strength to do what is necessary and carry on. Today's CNA has shown heroism and strength throughout her entire life. As a fairly young adult, she lost both her mother and her sister. Becoming a nursing assistant was a natural fit for this natural born caregiver. Donna Clark Adair, a 30 plus year CNA, has never compromised on quality or standards. She served elderly veterans at the Missouri Veterans Home in Warrensburg, Missouri for nearly 10 years. She was a very active member with NACA and she achieved great things leading her fellow CNAs. One of their routine activities was taking food to the Ronald McDonald House in Kansas City where parents and families had children in the hospital often not doing well and they were critically ill and they would take food up and they would cook with love comforting home cooked food for these families staying there she and her team were a blessing after the joplin tornado in 2011 they drove four hours bringing food packing paper bag lunches for people who had no food and nowhere to go. They brought bed linens and they volunteered to help the community. Her passion and her caring has garnered her many awards, far too many to even list, some including those for continuous quality improvement and team leadership. Donna has such an inspiring message of strength and hope that she has presented to several state health care associations and also nationally for the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. She's a great storyteller and always has a positive message. These very efforts alone make Donna a CNA hero. However, there is so much more to her story. I'm not going to go in great detail because it's a story that I know Donna will want to tell herself, but I am going to share an overview with you. NACA was fortunate enough to hire Donna as a CNA coach for our CNA members. She traveled around, mostly in Iowa, working with CNAs, filling them with motivation, inspiration, and hope and helping them hone their leadership skills. Many of you will remember her. 
On Sunday, January 31st, 2016, Donna was driving to Joplin for a week of meetings at the NACA office. She was less than 10 minutes from her destination and she received a phone call from her son who lived in Iowa. Donna's husband of 39 years and her son, 33 years old, had fallen through the ice in Leon, Iowa while ice fishing. After hours of search and rescue operations, both David and Joseph were recovered but did not survive. Donna was left to pick up the pieces of her life while mourning the loss of her life partner and her son. She was a great wife, a great mother. She still is a great mother and grandmother. Family meant everything to her, so this tragedy was especially difficult. With the help of friends, family, and her three surviving sons, Donna has carried on. She has risen above. Today, Donna still mourns the two men taken from her life way too soon. However, she has found the strength to move forward, packing a lifetime of memories, selling the family home, and moving to be closer to other family. She's had to learn how to manage the household finances, which she has never had to do. She's undergone two knee replacements, shoulder surgery, and a broken back, all within just the last couple of years. And all of this while helping to take care of a son with some special needs. Still, in the midst of her turmoil, she never stopped caring for others. Donna never gave up hope. She is a pillar of strength for her family. Donna chose to rise above. Donna Clark Adair, I love you. You are a fantastic human being, and you have given so many years providing excellent care as a CNA. Your grit, your resilience, and your determination are to be admired by all. I'm so glad you chose to rise above. Everyone, please join me today in honoring Donna Clark Adair, CNA Hero.